Unsharp mask can be found under the blur and sharpen category and it's right at the bottom here. I'm gonna apply it to this photo. And what this effect does is basically looks for points of contrast on the layer you apply it to and attempts to increase the contrast. At its default, it doesn't do all that much, but if we turn the radius amount up, as I do that and then turn this effect off and back on, you can see what it's doing. It's actually increasing the contrast on the parts of the image that already have contrast. If I turn the amount up, it's much more apparent, and the radius is basically how far beyond the most contrasty parts of this image the effect is looking to increase the contrast. So if we look at this helmet here, it's white, and around it are these darker pixels without the effect applied. There is contrast there, but with the effect applied, it's obviously really crushing that contrast, and you can see how that radius value is affecting how far away from that contrast the effect is being implemented. We also have this threshold slider, which basically allows us to give a cutoff for the effect. So there must be a certain amount of contrast between pixels based on this threshold before the effect is implemented. So if I dial this up, it's only going to affect those most contrasty areas and leave everything below that threshold unaffected. This effect can also be a fun way to degrade an image. So if I were to put my logo out here, and maybe scale it down a bit and add an adjustment layer, apply Unsharp Mask to that, and then increase the radius and the amount. Then we're kind of just creating this halo-y effect over top of this otherwise very flat vector crisp looking image. So as with any effect, subtlety is usually key. So don't overdo it, don't apply too much contrast. Your eye is going to get used to looking at a very contrasty image and kind of forget how contrasty it is. So just turn it off and back on and then maybe dial it back just a little bit. But that's Unsharp Mask in a nutshell. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all of that stuff in the description of this video.